here in the side dish kitchen. Now, Nora Restaurant on Lower Greenville has some great food, and in about a month, they'll be opening their new rooftop patio and bar. So here to show off some of the great things you can get there is Matt and Michael from Nora. Welcome. Thank now, we were guys. just talking about the restaurant and um, just that Lower Greenville has really kind of exploded and changed, and y'all have kind of been a part of that new movement, kind of being one of the first new restaurants to go back back in there. Yes, and it's very safe, and it's good, and you, you could come anytime, and it changes. A lot of family comes. It's very well and now. Here's what I'm going to say, because I've, I've been by Nor uh, so many times, and I didn't realize that it's an Afghani uh, menu. Yes, it is. It's the traditional Afghani food. That's fantastic. I cannot wait to try it. And I love that you've opened it in such an area that's coming up as being really trendy and really hip, just to kind of introduce the Afghan food mm -hmm. to a new kind of customer and audience and demographic. Yes, they are very surprised when they taste the food and we busy and we're doing very well. And so something that you're really implementing that you were telling us about is that you're incorporating kind of some of the spices in the traditional Afghani food into the cocktails. Yes, absolutely. Things like pomegranate, uh, cardamom, hibiscus, uh, ginger, all these different spices, Ooh. because Afghanistan is it was in the center of the Silk Road, uh, that's where Marco Polo's land route was, so it has all these different influences uh, that, that have just developed over the centuries, and they've really kind of absorbed a lot of those different flavors. And, and that's drink. inspired this drink, yeah. which you've yeah, called the Marco, the Marco Polo. Polo. Okay, so what all goes into this? Uh, in the Marco Polo, we have uh, some cucumber. This has been diced and de-seeded. Okay. Uh, you take that and you muddle it. Uh, you want to muddle it really well so you get all the release all the juice out of the cucumber. Uh, and that way, when you strain it, you're definitely going to get a lot of the pulp out of the drink. Um, I can just see sipping this on top of a rooftop patio. Yes, I'm excited about this rooftop. Yes, uh, opens beginning of September. We're really looking forward to it. Um, and we start with... Uh, you said this is spicy grenadine? Spicy grenadine. We use uh, employees only grenadine. Um, Ooh. Jason Cosmos helped to really develop our cocktail menu with myself. And uh, so, again, that's his product along with the uh, Ford okay. Smell the use. spices in it. Mm, okay, what else goes in there? And a lot of different spices in there. We use like hum, which is also a, um, a really kind of infused product that comes infused. It's one of the few things we have in house that we don't infuse A liqueur ourselves. with it has hibiscus, yes. ginger, cinnamon. I love all these interesting flavors that you, like you were saying, that really do speak to the menu that you're going to taste in the cocktails as well. Yes, that is. Quarter ounce of that. Okay, and then what's this? It's a uh, house-made kefir lime syrup. Okay. Uh, which you take Ooh. lime syrup? So is this like uh, lime juice? It's like and a sugar? lime cordial. It's more like a, uh, a house-made um, roses lime, if you will. Okay. Uh, and that is our gin. gin. Okay. Three quarters ounce Ooh. of the gin. And one Ooh. more. And we've got our music going. Yeah. Excellent. Then we got a, an ounce of sweet vermouth. This drink is just really chock full, isn't it? It is. I love it. Okay, and then we shake that puppy up. I know Lisa's ready to taste. I'm I sure. am. I know, and you can't taste because it's cucumber. I know. I'm so sorry. I'll just so have tell to us about for me. Thank you. So tell us about y'all's rooftop. Can you eat up there, or is it just going to be more kind of a social drinking area? No, it's going to be more, area. more of a social thing. We're going to do bottles of wine, um, large format beers, and craft cocktails. We, uh, we really want it to be a place where you come, you hang out with your friends, you spend three or four hours, you have a couple bottles of wine or and, everything you know, and just relax. It's September is no, no such a great time to open because it's that's when the weather in Dallas really starts to cool off and people are enjoying those patios more. Okay, how's it smell? Perfect. Good. Okay, Lisa's gonna get to tasting. Okay. And guys, you can get all of these recipes online, um, of course, at ditabroadcast.tv. Um, head over to Nora on Lower Greenville. Try out some of that Afghani food. I'm so excited about heading out there. Oh, I can't wait to kick off the patio. Y'all are gonna have to come back when that patio opens and we'll have to go see it for ourselves. Oh, this looks so good. Awesome, yeah. So you're gonna make up some cocktails and everyone in the studio is gonna get to taste. Fantastic. Oh, and we're finishing it with Ooh. soda? Soda, yes, it gives it a little bit of effervescence and uh, kind of get to drinking oh, Lisa that is so pretty can she taste it yet absolutely Let's and you got to garnish it of course so you get the, um, we have, you also get the, 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 the smell here? of the cucumber when you're finishing that it's kind of our take on a pim's cup um, bottoms up Lisa mm -hmm. okay